This technique is taken directly out of a new product that we have that's Photoshop for Wedding Photographers Personal Seminar, which takes Scott Kelby's Photoshop for Wedding Photographers DVD and includes a nice little handbook with it. And the techniques in the handbook are quite different than the ones on the DVD. And this last, the last technique in the handbook is so cool I wanted to share it with you. And it's something Scott calls the one photo collage technique. And this is a very cool idea because basically you're creating what amounts to a collage but out of the same image. So what you do is very simple really. Duplicate the background image. Use free transform. I'm going to hold down Option or Alt and Shift. And what that lets me do is scale it down proportionally towards the center. Now as I'm doing that, I'm looking up at the width and height in the top box. And of course you can decide how much you want to scale up. We're going to do it roughly 60% and then basically just hit enter. On this layer we're going to add a couple things. First of all we're going to add a stroke which of course as always defaults to the lovely red <laughs> which we don't want. We're going to go white. We're going to choose one and make sure it says inside. And then we're also going to add a little bit of a drop shadow and again as always you can determine the angle and size. We want it to be a little bit bigger, spread out a little bit more so it's much more of a softer kind of a shadow, maybe even lower the opacity a bit. Of course all these things you can play with. Now what we're going to do, let's just hide this for one moment, is double click on the background layer because we need to rename it so that we can free transform it. All we're going to do is Command or Control T for free transformed, free transform, that's what it's called, isn't it? Free transform, sure. Control click or right click and choose flip horizontal. So that's really this sort of trick, if you will, in this case, is creating a mirror image of the larger photograph. Hit enter to finalize and we're going to add a hue saturation adjustment layer. I'm going to click the colorize button and move it over into somewhat of the same shade of color that's in the original background photo, which is that blue, but we're also going to lighten it a whole lot so it'll be barely visible something like that click OK show the top layer again now depending on the photo you may be able to keep it centered but in this case you can't really see any of these sort of cut him off there so in this case visually it might even look better to drag him down a bit so he's still positioned left right uh, in the center but not at the top and we could always add some text and so on so again a very simple idea really but it can create some really cool effects simply by duplicating the image making one small flipping the other one to look the other direction and using an adjustment layer now just one extra little thing I might mention now that I have the color one back as I move the slider to try I might try to kind of match up with that shade even better than I did before and again keeping this very high uh, lightness value so it's really faded out. Of course you could always play with saturation values as well if you wish to. And once you've done that then of course you can always adjust just about everything to create this very simple but effective little technique right out of the Photoshop for Wedding Photographers personal seminar kit from Scott Kelby. Check it out. Needless to say I didn't use a wedding photo on this example even though it's from a wedding photographer's DVD and that's the whole point of course many of these techniques are applicable to anything they'll work with just about any photo. I'm Dave Cross, see you next time.